Hey guys, it's Wogwa and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be making a video on how to stop Luna Client from crashing in Minecraft. This is a problem that I have been experiencing as of late and it's been getting on my nerves, but luckily there are many fixes that you can try. Make sure to restart your client in between each new step to check off each box of what could possibly be causing your crashing. Okay, so this is what my crashing looks like every time I have a crash with Luna client. It just says unexpected error has occurred. So if your Luna client looked like my crash report earlier, continue on with the tutorial. Okay, for step one, we are going to uninstall Luna client. So we're gonna do this in two ways. So the first way you're gonna do this is you are going to click your Windows key and your R on your keyboard. It's gonna pull up run and you are going Going to search up dot lunar client open up your lunar client folder uh, go back one folder and you are going to delete the lunar client folder so i'm not going to actually do this because i don't need to do this step as i've already done this step and this hasn't worked for me but this is in place for you guys to try to see if this works for you or not so this is your first step and once you're done with that you are going to search up apps uh, on the search bar down here and search up lunar client uninstall it here so that way you double confirm that it is off your system's software and you are going to do a clean install of lunar client once again okay so for step two you want to adjust how much allocated ram lunar client is using so head down to your settings on lunar client and in the game section in the allocated memory section the default is four gigabytes i have 32 gigabytes of ram so i can put more i've experimented with this and i still have crashing even when i put it low keep it on default or turn it up so this isn't really a problem for me but do try to turn it down to about three just experiment with the number here and see which one works best for you okay so for step three we are going to update our graphics drivers so head over to your graphics card software this is mine so this is amd update your graphics card mine is already up to date as you can tell still having crashing issues so make sure that's up to date okay for step four we are going to uninstall java and we are going to download the new updated version so head down to your search and search up control panel and you are going to head to programs and we are going to find java okay so here's java and just click uninstall and once you have uninstalled java from your system you are going to head over to java's website and you are going to download whatever version version your operating system is. I'm just going to download Windows offline and you are going to install this version of Java. All right, so for step five, this one I have to put a warning label on because I have read a forum from a Microsoft community that deleting this file that I'm about to show you guys could cause problems with the normal Minecraft launcher. I have deleted this file myself and I've had no problems running Luna Client after deleting this file okay so what we're gonna do is we are going to hit the windows key on our keyboard and click r and it's gonna pull up run we are going to search up percentage app data percentage and we are going to open up the minecraft folder after running this so here's minecraft and you are going to scroll down and there will be a file here launcher underscore profiles and you are going to delete that file okay so for step six we are going to hit the windows Windows key and R again and pull up run. We are going to search up dot Luna client again. So once you have opened up the folder, you are going to head over to J R E and the offline folder. And you are going to hit control on both of those and delete them. Once you've deleted them, restart your client. Okay. For step seven, we are going to find our Luna client icon and we are going to go to properties and we are going to go to compatibility mode and we are going to have this program run in windows 7 once we put it in that compatibility mode we are also going to check off run this program as administrator click applied and restart your client well that's the end of today's video if you guys enjoyed make sure to give the video a like and consider subscribing i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys